Hi there guys, it's Rick here. Hope you're all doing extremely well out there. I know I am. I uh, hope you enjoyed that little video at the start of this video because that's going to be the subject of today's lesson. Excuse me, I don't know why I'm laughing. Uh, I woke up this morning and my picking technique had just really taken a nosedive. You know, I don't know if you guys find this, but some days I wake up and it's, you know, it's working. It's just like, God damn, everything's great. Some days I wake up and it's just like, Jesus Christ, this is shite. So I, <laughs> this morning I was just like, man, I've got to work on it. So when I work on, on picking and stuff, I end up just coming up with like a little, you know, just a brief, uh, over, even if it's over a few bars, just a little study thing so that I can just work on the weak elements of my, my technique and kind of bring them back, you know, so that's... That's what we're going to be looking at today. So what I want to do is talk about the sort of the, the problem areas and sort of navigate towards those. And, and that's kind of what I, I concentrate on to, to problem solve, you know. And invariably it's to do with string crossing when it comes to do with picking. So uh, we'll get into that in due course. Hang on, let me alter my lapel here. Okie dokie. Right, so let's get straight to it. We're in the key of E. Okay, so we're just literally... Taking the notes from the key of E. So the first part of the, um, of the sequence is just an ascending E major scale. What we do is when we shift positions, we use the index finger. Okay, so uh, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Okay, that's the first portion of the, uh, the scale, the exercise. Then we're going to continue following the pretty much the same rules that we did before with moving the index finger, uh, shifting into the next position. So down, up. I'm primarily using economy picking here. That's kind of what I veer towards uh, technically. I'm not a great alternate picker, so you know I much prefer economy picking. So that's kind of my first port of call, so to speak, when I'm, when I'm dealing with picked lines l l such as this. So. Okay, let's do that. Okay. Okay, we've got that that down pretty much. Again, um, what I like to focus on is pretty much economy of motion, economy of movement. I don't want to be using excess motion. I also like to keep it, stay as relaxed as possible. I will talk about this for the rest of time. You know, it's so important to just stay as relaxed as possible when you're playing. Uh, you know, it's, it's really, it's really beneficial, you know. Um, you know, tensing up excessively is just not going to help. So. Uh, now, this portion of it is straight ahead economy picking down up down down up down down up down three notes per string and then we get this little chromatic thing at the top one two three four and then we descend okay so and then we're going to descend through a c minus uh, c sharp minus seven arpeggio Down, up, up, down, up, up, down, okay? Okay, that works, okay? Okay, now we're gonna ascend. We're gonna start here. It's a three note per string pentatonic thing. Up, 
up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, down. So there's a lot of economy of movement going on here. And then what we get when we get to the top, when we arrive at the top here, I don't know why I'm laughing, I don't. Uh, we get five, uh, groups of five. Up, down, up, up, down. So we get outside, outside movement. Okay, so. And then we're gonna descend through a pentaton straight ahead, three note per string pentatonic thing. Well, it's actually three and then two, but I'm just thinking of it as like a three note per string pentatonic thing, you know? Play it once each time, then through each position. Then we do the flat five here. So it's flat five, then Okay, so let's do it from, from here. Uh, I think I'm doing some, some uh, pull-offs here when descending. I'm not picking every single, single note, but you know, just experiment with it, you know? You're free to experiment something along those lines. Now we're going to finish with just a final arpeggio. Okay, that is pick hammer, pick hammer, pick hammer. So it's just a straight ahead E major seven arpeggio with an extended position here and a tap at fret, fret 24. And I ballsed up here, instead of going, which is what I wanted to do, I hit this chord. So I had to slide down twice there. Uh, but my initial intent was to do this. Uh, but it, it doesn't matter. So anyway, let me play it in its entirety, nice and slowly. There we go, that's the whole thing. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed today's little lesson. Uh, you know, it takes quite a while to work on those specific problem areas, and it's all to do with string crossing. You know, crossing strings is an absolute pain in the ass. But, you know, it's worth, it's enjoyable to work on. You know, I like getting the reward from it when, um, you know, when I find a solution to a problem, you know, and playing the guitar is, You've got to be a good problem solver in order to play guitar. So uh, anyway, I'm rambling on. I hope you've enjoyed today's little lesson. Um, I'm going to be back on the YouTube game, got on myself a new camera. So I'm going to do some experimenting with lenses and all the rest of it. Um, don't forget, it's still 30% off my website. Downloads RG save 30 for 30% off. Great way to support what I do. Anyway, I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Cheers.